Welcome, this is Lauren, and I thought I'd bring you along as I label my Tsuana Confetti Soap. This is what I made back in April, and it was cured on the 23rd of May, and I decided that um, we could just do this and chat enjoy watching this. I also want to do a lather test on this so that you can see what that's all about. But I usually just do these cigar band labels and put a piece of tape on it. to do that. I'm wanting to make these available so that we can assist our son Francisco Caboco in his trust for the furtherance of um, education and helping the churches in Botswana. A link to his trust fund page if you would like to see more about it. He posts regularly on that. And the net proceeds of the sale of these will go toward the fund to help provide for the, ch the children and the churches in Botswana. a mat that I had when we lived in Botswana and use that as a background here in one of the baskets that was made for me by the women in the village to house our soaps while I do this. I've really been getting homesick to be back in Botswana as Francisco posts different opportunities of things that are going on there during his campaign. Um, and today I really felt homesick. <laughs> I really wanted to to go back to Kubajango, a village that we lived in for five years. My husband actually taught Francisco in the junior secondary school when Frank Francisco was young. And we have had opportunity to be with Franco. He actually came to North America. He was in McMaster University in Canada for four years. And we were able to encourage him at that time and have him in our home and he is a son to us and we are very thankful for that. So in October, Lord willing, we will be headed that direction and hopefully I can take some of, I can take the proceeds from the sale of these soaps with me to encourage him. My basket keeps falling. But it didn't take me very long to do this um, because I only have 12 bars right now. And if anyone would like to order them, please let me know and we can create some more. Some of you actually know Francisco. Like I'm short one label, so I'm going to have to make another set of them. But 
right after this, I want to do a lather test for you and show you just how luxurious this bar of soap is. So this has um, my first fragrance oil I've ever put in any soap. <laughs> it is African Musk. And um, so right now we're going to do a lather test on this wonderful soap. See you there. All right, here we are for the lather demonstration. I obtained this outfit probably 30 years ago now, I'm not sure exactly, from one of the women in Botswana in our village of Kobajango. And I thought it would be fun to wear it today um, as we do this lather demonstration and when I was labeling my soaps. This is a sample portion of the Tswana confetti soap. It does have goat milk in it. And you want to see what it does when it's dampened. And you can see all of those wonderful initial bubbles. And then the creaminess of that bar. All of my handcrafted soaps have wonderful oils in them and the addition of the goat milk that's covering that soap just makes for a wonderful experience for for my skin, for your skin. Rinse it off. My skin feels so smooth and clean. So there's the lather demonstration of my Tswana Confetti Celebration soap trust that that will encourage you to obtain a bar and contribute to the Francisco Malasella Caboco Trust Fund that aids young people, students, and churches in Botswana. Thank you so much for watching this and I trust that I will see you soon for another video. God bless. Bye.